Hey, this is James from Dragon Publications. So today I'm going to be sharing with you some really neat cover proofs and ad proofs related to the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and Mirage Studios. So I've been collecting Turtles memorabilia for a long time. As you can see in the corner there, I have original art from Gobbledygook 1 and 2, which were the first two comics published by Mirage Studios. As many of you know, the first appearance or the first image of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles was published on the back of those comics. So I picked up these cover proofs and ad proofs from a collector on eBay. He posted one of these and I bought it and I asked him, do you have more? He actually had quite an extensive collection and I made him an offer on the whole lot. And over today and tomorrow, I'm gonna to share with you the cover proofs and ad proofs today. And tomorrow I'll share with you some of the paste ups and production art that he sold me with this lot. So the first piece that I got was this Fugitoid number one cover proof. Now this is really cool. The Fugitoid first appeared in Gobbledygook number one. He's on the cover. And this is one of Mirage Studios' earliest characters. And as you can see, the cover proof is large. Some of their earliest comics were oversized, almost magazine size. And this cover proof definitely has some wear on it, but what's really cool is, as you can see down here, Peter Laird actually signed it at some point. So um, this is really neat, and I'm really happy to have it in my collection. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to frame it. So the next cover proof I'm going to show you is, is a fan favorite. This is a cover proof of Raphael number one. This is, of course, the second print. The first print was uh, sort of uh, red and white or maroon and white. And this cover proof has already been trimmed as if it is uh, ready to be folded and then stapled uh, onto the interior of a comic. But this, this cover proof is in really nice shape. Uh, very few, if any, defects on it, and also a good candidate to, to be framed. So here is a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles number, uh, I guess, let's see here, 13. Uh, not, a, not a special issue in the Turtles run, but, uh, you know, and not a wraparound cover, which some of the other covers like I just showed you are. But, you know, anything with the Turtles is collectible so i thought this was a nice one to pick up and um you know you got to be careful with cover proofs because um if they're not from a reputable source they could be just copies so you really want to make sure that the the providence of the collection is established and that you know if you are picking these up you kind of are taking a close look to make sure you're not getting a facsimile so Mirage Studios published a number of odd books that many people don't even remember or know that they published, one of which was this uh, comic called Gizmo. So this is a cover proof for Gizmo number two, cool wraparound cover. And uh, as you can see, uh, this is the would be the insides of the cover. This is another good way to make sure that, you know, it's not a, a copy, is that if you don't have anything on the back side then you know highly likely that it might be uh fake so this is a really cool cover uh, this is teenage mutant ninja turtles number 15. you sort of have this on the back cover a uh, uh, sort of self-portrait of <laughs> eastman and laird surrounded by the turtles in what looks to be mirage studios so this is a really neat cover really like it uh and you kind of get, again, more cool turtles art in the back. This one has a dragon-like thing, which, again, I love anything that has to do with dragons. So that is super cool. So this one's pretty neat. This is another one of those oddball titles that uh, was produced by Mirage Studios. It's called Prime Slime Tales. Uh, this proof is actually uh, kind of beat up. There's some, some tears on it. Um, I thought there might be a signature on one of these, so I'm not seeing it. But, um, you know, again, pretty rare cover proof for a 
lesser known title that Mirage, Mirage, Mirage Studios put out. So this one's really cool. This is um, an early Turtles issue. This is Tales of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles number one. Um, as some of you know, this cover was actually, there's an error edition where Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles number four was, uh, was actually put on this art. And those comics are actually worth quite a bit. Now, the regular Tales of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles number one is not as valuable. But again, really cool to have this as a cover proof. And look at this super sweet shredder pen up in the back. That is just freaking awesome. So this is another really great candidate to, to have framed. Really love that uh, it's not yet trimmed along the edges, which I always like to see in a, in a cover proof. So the last two pieces I want to show you are actually... Uh, from the Archie run of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And these are, these are ad proofs. So this would have been an ad for uh, the Mighty Mute Animals, or Mutant Animals, however you say it. And uh, these would have been, of course, shrunken down and, and used as ad pages and books. Um, and here's an ad page for uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Adventures. Um, which is cool. You got kind of this splinter and sort of a samurai outfit, which I'm a big splinter fan. So anything with splinter on it, I like. So these are kind of cool. Um, I don't know how valuable these are, but uh, compared to the cover proofs that is, but they're, they're nice things to frame and to, you know, to show off. So thanks for checking in. So again, like I said, tomorrow, I'm actually going to get into the production art that I picked up with this collection. And some of it is actually pretty cool, and I'm going to be really excited to share it with you. So if you like this content, please like the video, comment, subscribe to the channel. Have a great day.